So the Festi 500 starts tomorrow. We've got a lot of case coming up out on the road. Veronica's asked me to clean her bike today. On visual inspection, the bike is actually really clean. There's not a lot of mud or dust or dirt on it. So it's actually pretty clean frame-wise. The drive chain does need a clean though. So I'll do two things today. We will do a quick baby wipe clean of the bike itself. And I'll show you how to do that to make a bike look nice and shiny without much work at all. And then we'll use the ultrasonic cleaner that I picked up this time last year. It's a brilliant device. I've shown this before in one of my videos, but we'll have a real close look at how this actually works. It is super cool. So again, we'll do a quick wipe of the bike to make sure it looks good. And then we'll really clean the drive chain with this little puppy. And I'll tell you more about it as we do that. So before we even start, we'll just have a quick overview of the bike. It's all looking pretty shiny. One keeps this stuff in really good nick. The quark power meter. So here's where the main focus of today's clean will be, is on the dry chain and cassette and the chain rings here. They're looking pretty good though. But the rest of the bike is actually looking pretty shiny. So first things first, we'll knock the dust off the bike uh, using simple baby wipes. We keep a packet of these in the car all the time with all our bike gear anyway. Also handy for when you're eating food in the car and it goes everywhere. But today on the bike, So that's the easy stuff out of the way. Now onto the fun part. Let's go through the ultrasonic cleaner, how that works. It is so cool. I'll try and get it in slow motion. This ultrasonic cleaner is a Tool Pro cleaner from Super Cheap Auto here in Australia. They retail for about $100 on sale. Uh, the Boxing Day sales, you might be able to pick one up a lot cheaper. So keep an eye out for one of these. Two and a half litre parts cleaner, I think they're called. It works well with hot water. So I fast tracked the process of not having to wait for this to warm up. I've got myself two litres of boiling hot water. So time to plug it in and start the show. Using this with plain water doesn't help too much, so I use a degreaser. Feel free to use any kind of environmentally friendly uh, degreaser as you please, but it only needs just a slight drop. Give that a bit of a stir. In like that. By default, it has about 90 seconds. I usually run it through about two of those. But here we go. That's the magic right there. If you have a look really closely, you probably can't see it on camera, but if you look really closely in here, there's a billion little, uh, bubbles happening. There is a lid for safety as well. Yeah, so don't put your fingers in here. Okay, after one cycle, I sort of just get the brush in there and just move things around a little. Things don't get pulled out of here shiny and new but what it does is knocks all the grease and everything off 
and it just dissolves away. As you can see here, it's coming off of my hands. So one last stir, we'll give it another run. So we're drained and we're back. You can tell the chain isn't looking really that clean, but the second stage of the process is you take some bike wash of any type and just simply clean this and all that dirt and gunk just washes away. And don't forget to clean your tools as well. It's looking pretty clean. So first things, we'll get the cassette back on the bike. No spacer required, 11 speed Shimano. Okay. The number's stamped on here, face outwards. That's the easy way to remember that. Now here's my OCD kicking in. The spaces actually have 11 speed written on them. Mine are always facing out and in the same spot. So with a quick clean of the jockey wheels, it's quite easy just to grab a rag and take off any of the excess build up. Similar deal for a quick clean of the chain rings. It's just a quick wipe to get any of the excess build up off both inside ring and outside ring, but they're actually looking pretty clean on Von's bike today, so that doesn't take much at all. That's all we'll do for that. Since we've pretty much stripped the chain of all oil and grease, super important now that we oil it correctly. So high quality oil, always recommended. And enough to get right in to where it needs to go. To make sure the oil gets right into those rollers on the inside of the chain, I pretty much over oil the chain and then just wipe off the excess from there. Another test to make sure the chain is clean and there's no grit inside is you can pinch the chain, move it side to side, and I might be able to pick this up in the mic, but there's no grinding noise when you sort of twist the chain side to side. Let's see if I can pick it up. If the chain isn't clean, you'll get a really grindy noise when you move the chain side to side, but with that, you can just hear the oil inside. I think we're done. So wrapping up today, we cleaned Von's bike with simple baby wipes, made it look nice and clean. We focused on the drive chain mainly. Now how we did that, first of all, we had a spare rag, baby wipes, simple degreaser, chain whip and cassette tool to get the cassette off, high quality oil, some standard bike wash, 
well, standard bike wash. Uh, and the ultrasonic cleaner. I'll put the links below for the details about this ultrasonic cleaner. This is Tool Pro, 2.5 litre parts cleaner and a bucket of water. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out after about 15 to 20 minutes. Let's check with the boss.